How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Kyle. Today on the channel, I'm on the shop doing a little bit of organization and it never fails. I always need to use rags. Hands are dirty, things are dirty. And I like to use these white rags or the box of rags, the blue ones. They're basically the same thing, right? Anyways, I like to use these. They're always sitting on top of the counter of my workbench over here, taking up space, and it seems like they're always in the way. We're gonna design up a quick bracket to hang these on the wall so I can just pull them down and use them as needed, get them off the, the table over here. Yeah, you can buy many options for this, but since I have a 3D printer, I'm gonna go ahead and use it to make one. And I got the, the time to do it here. So um, I don't know how much these are. I mean, I know they have different ones you can order and buy, um, probably 15, 20 bucks. I hard, hard tell, I know they like to make things expensive. So probably for about $5 of material, I can print one of these myself. We'll see how it goes. And, if you have a 3D printer, I'll put links down below here to Thingiverse where I'll have this posted. And if there's enough interest, maybe I'll post this onto the uh, Etsy store I have. You could purchase them, obviously. They're not gonna be small because these boxes are pretty large, um, but they're not gonna weigh a ton. So shipping may or may not be expensive in that situation. So let's go ahead and jump into it and we'll get designed up quick. We'll slap it on the wall and see how it works. It'll be a quick, short video and I hope you guys enjoy. Stick around. All right, she's all printed off here. I had a few settings not quite right in the printer, so I had a little bit of stringing because it was um, coming out to the center here to take pictures while I was doing its time lapse. But it turned out really good. It's a nice sturdy unit. Um, I made it a little bit bigger than the box, so you can set the you can tear the top open, set the box down in here when it's on the wall, and it'll hang right. So uh, looks like it's going to work just fine. I got a nice hole through the bottom, and I have four mounting screws in the back here, so I can slap it on the wall, put four screws in, and see how it goes. Let's mount the wall here and see how it works. When you're doing this, obviously, you're putting anything in the walls, make sure there's nothing behind it. I did a little wire in this, and I know there's no wires over here, so I'm not really concerned about it. It's another nice thing about doing OSB is you can mount stuff wherever you like and don't have to worry about it. All right. She's in place and she's plenty sturdy. She's not going anywhere. Let's go ahead and put a couple, put a box of rags in there, see how it works. Pop open the top, put it down in there. Beautiful, out of the way. Beautiful, I like it. All right, that's a quick short video of how I made that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Again, there'll be links below for where you can find the 3D files for this if you so to choose to print this out yourself. It works really well and seems really rigid. And it does fit those boxes. I believe it's like a it's like an 11 and three quarter inch box, but it, on the outside measure, so it fits inside that range and works well. I'm
I'm glad to have some more extra counter space there, and um, it'll be nice to have that and easier to use. So don't have to hold the box down. Your hands are all greasy. So thanks again for sticking around today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you have any questions, put them down below in the comments. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, a thumbs down is fine, but give me some feedback on how I can improve the channel. Um, if you guys like the content um, and you want to subscribe to the channel, I greatly appreciate that. And if you do that, go ahead and hit that little bell so you get notifications when I post more videos like this. Thanks again for stopping in. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, this is Kyle signing out.